Welcome back to Africa 54. I'm Vincent McCorry in Washington. Now, Islamic style banking is on the rise worldwide, showing especially strong growth in Africa. Uh, recently, according to the rating agencies, uh, Moody's, uh, this type of banking system doesn't charge or pay interest, uses physical assets to underpin transactions, and does not invest in so called thin industries like alcohol, pork and gambling. In South Africa, the continent's financial hub, Islamic banking is gaining popularity among the minority Muslim community, which is predominantly South Asian. If you Anita Powell has more from Johannesburg. When Farhan Motir took over the family business, he decided to do something different. He persuaded his father, who has run this bridal shop in Johannesburg's oldest Indian mall for four decades, to migrate away from traditional banks and into newly available Islamic banking systems. It's been a smooth process, he says. He didn't even switch banks, as the nation's biggest full-service banks all offer Islamic banking. Just by changing a few things in the way Islamic banking versus, versus conventional banking, it makes a difference. The idea is basically, so from conventional banking, we, it's basically the way they lend money versus Islamic banking where they invest the money and you earn your return. One's profit share and the other's interest. So one's the head of Islamic banking at South Africa's first national bank says business is booming. But banks, as privately held companies, don't disclose too many details. We see a steady growth. And this is not just from FNB's perspective, but I believe from the other banks who play in the sector as well. He also says Islamic banking has wider benefits, noting the successful issue in 2014 of a $500 million Islamic compliant bond called a sukuk in South Africa. And I think we're beginning to see the emergence of this coming through in East Africa because for the first time we're hearing of governments like the Tanzanian government talking about Sukuk issuance, the Kenyan government talking about Sukuk issuance. We've heard of Nigeria doing Sukuk. And, you know, I think as the prominence of Sukuk and the success starts becoming more apparent, we're probably going to see more African countries using this as a mechanism to develop in infrastructure within their own countries. But not everyone is a believer. Salesman Imtiaz Khan says he believes Islamic banking's distinction between interest and profit is purely semantic because they're still working with interest. No, I do not use Islamic banking. I feel that Islamic banking, the root starts from the normal banks and it has interest from the root, beginning from the root. There's no such thing as non-interest Islamic banking. But Motir says he's working to convince his fellow businessmen to make the switch. I, as a Muslim person, believe there's more blessing in doing the right thing. So for me, that's, that's exactly why I do think that Islamic banking is the future. While some Muslim shopkeepers profess doubt, others say they're thinking about it. Because they say, if they can maintain their faith and make money doing it, well, it just makes sense. Anita Powell, VOA News, Johannesburg.